Hello, I'm Chris Menard. If you use polling in a Zoom meeting, you're probably going to love this video. I've already covered in previous videos, which I'll put links for, how to set up polling for your personal meeting room or your personal meeting ID, how to set up polling for dynamically generated meetings, and reuse those poll questions using a template. In this video, what I want to show you is when you have a meeting running and you're doing polling, you can actually go see the results live in the Zoom website. Not a lot of people know you can do this. So I have a meeting running. I've got two polls set up with a total of three questions. The first two questions are true, false. The second poll that has one question is multiple choice. So let's go ahead and launch this, show you what's going on. I'm the host. There's polls. I click on it. I was playing, so let me relaunch real quick. Here we go. Two true-false questions, one poll. Carol's over here answering yes, yes, submit. Act like there are other people in the room answering. In polling, obviously I could share the results and let everyone see. I could relaunch the poll, which I did accidentally when I started this meeting. But what you don't know is I don't have to wait for this meeting to be over to share the results with everyone and see them. See them. I've already signed in to my Zoom account, which I'm just pulling up on my screen now. Go to meetings. Don't hit join because I'm already in the meeting. Don't hit definitely don't hit end because you're in the meeting. You click on the title of the meeting, go down to the bottom of the page. I told you I had two polls with three questions, two and one, there's three. This is the poll that I just launched and people answered. I click on it and look, I can see the totals right here. And if so someone's going to say, well, Chris, can't you just share the results? Yes, but what if I want to share the results of every question that was asked during the meeting, this is where I would come. And maybe it's something if we're having an internal meeting we need to discuss. I could even decide how I'm going to run my breakout rooms from what I'm getting from here. So this is a cool feature. By the way, I have not started the poll for home equipment. If you notice, one question, anonymous is no. Let's go ahead and launch this one. So let me collapse that. Collapse that. You don't have to collapse. I'm just doing that. Back to my Zoom meeting. Poll number two, home equipment. So the first poll had two questions that were true, false. This one has multiple. Launch. What equipment do you have in your home office? Desktop, laptop. I'm just picking some stuff here. That looks good. Hit submit. One poll, one question. End poll. Whether I share the results or not, it doesn't matter. I'm going to close this. Back to my web browser. You're saying, Chris, didn't people just take the poll? The answer is yes. You do have to hit refresh occasionally. I have noticed that. There's a quick refresh. Now it is there for question number two. By the way, question one should still be available or poll one. So how about that? I could share this screen and then we could discuss all these answers that we have tabulated. When the meeting is over, I know it says anonymous no over here. If you're interested in this, I'm going to do one more video, not today, but probably next week on polling reports because you can decide whether you want to see the user's name and email. Uh, you want to do this anonymously. You want to do this based on your registration. So there's different ways once the meeting is over for your polling reports. Feel free to visit my website. I have a special Zoom resource center up here. Lots of information, tips, tricks, videos, keyboard shortcuts, virtual backgrounds. Yeah, they're down here somewhere. There you go. Uh, image backgrounds and video backgrounds. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe. Any questions about this video, please put them in the comments below and have a wonderful day. Thank you.